Chris Stewart at Blues Golf Club. And what I'm going to talk about is another um, aspect of golf, and that is shoulder turn. So, a lot of golfers can get into a habit of understanding shoulder turn in the wrong way. So, it can be a misinterpretation from their point of view. But what a lot of golfers do is they associate a shoulder turn with how their body moves away from the golf ball. So a shoulder turn is based, it should be associated with how our body remain, how our body turns around a fixed axis, not away from the golf ball in a, an excessively rigid movement, but in a stable and a flexible movement. So as we get to the top of the backswing, so as, as I come down the line, so a lot of golfers like, take the club back, what they'll do is they'll turn their right foot out. So what they'll do is, in order for them to feel a bigger shoulder turn, what they'll do is they'll turn their right foot out. So they're aiming their feet pretty much parallel at the target. They'll turn their right foot out to try and increase their shoulder turn. But what they'll actually do is, if I move my right foot out there, what that does is it moves the weight, the weight on my foot or the weight distribution towards the outside of my foot, from the inside to the outside. What this will do is it'll increase your it will reduce, it will lower your center of gravity slightly because you're bending more. What it will do is it will try and introduce a, so if you're hitting a longer shot, it will try and increase the arms to swing in a more, a longer, a longer plane instead of a shorter plane. So we turn this right foot out. What tends to happen is people get into a habit of swaying away from the golf ball, so almost in this action. So I'm going to focus my chin almost on the golf ball. So what they'll do is they'll move their chin their weight goes on the right side of their foot, they're, they get kind of stuck and from this position they've got no alternative but to scoop because they can't get their weight off the right foot. So what we need to try and do is if we turn then we should be able to stay in our posture, we should be able to maintain balance throughout the golf swing. So a lot of golfers as I was saying that they turn that right foot out. So what we need to try and understand is when we move the, the right foot out of the way, what that does is it, put a, it moves the ball position. So uh, what I mean by it moves the ball position, so if I, have to square, if I have square feet to the target and my feet are, and shoulders are parallel to the target, what it does is they'll move their right foot out. But what that actually does is it moves the ball position slightly further forward. So you move the right foot out, it moves the ball position slightly far forward because we're tilting our body more to the right. What that does is it moves, as soon as we move the ball position slightly further, further forward by moving that back, that puts our shoulder alignment offline. So as we're coming back down, we are coming back down and we start down and almost we come back down, the club face is reached square, then it closes over. But our shoulders are aiming left, so that's where you get that out to in swing pass. So, so what we need to try and do is drop and then we get that cut across the action and we get that slice and that horrible left to right ball flight. So what we need to do is try and get our right foot, so what we need to do is bring our right foot back, but we need to turn our right foot in and opposite to that we need to try and turn our left foot out slightly. Turning our left foot out, that will get us, to start the downswing we need to try and turn our weight on that left foot and stop reducing any chance of getting our weight too far to the right. So turn our right foot in. So we see down the line, turn this right foot in slightly, but we want to drop our foot back. So that will almost feel like the weight's going down our, it's almost pulsating all the way down our right leg and the inside instead of all the outside. So if we turn our foot out, obviously that increases our shoulder turn, but it can accumulate more errors. So we take there and we get a sway, so I'm moving off the golf ball there. My left foot, all the weight's primarily on my right foot. But a lot of golfers don't know how to start the downswing properly, so what they'll do is they'll just scoop because they're afraid of trying to put any weight on that left foot. So bring this right foot back, toe slightly in. What we need to do, that will enhance us to swing more from the inside. And from here, as we turn this right foot in, we'll be able to turn with our ball position in the correct position. So if you move your right foot out the way, that moves path, it moves our ball position, it moves our shoulder limit, and also can dictate the strike of the golf ball. So bring this right foot back in order to achieve any consistency that you would like. So and also stop swaying. So if you top the golf ball, then there's a good chance that you're having this right foot too much out. And from here you're going to scoop it and you're going to 
have a bit of a chicken one because you can't get your weight off your, your, your right foot on the downswing. So try that by moving your right foot back and tucking your toe in. Tucking our toe in will keep the weight on the inside of our feet and it will stop us excessively moving back and forward. So right foot in that will keep almost the hub of the swing which is known as the, the body or the sternum in line with the golf ball so we're not swaying away from any thoughts the video. Let me know. You'll see a little icon pop up on the right hand side down the bottom. So click that to subscribe for free, free content coming your way the next few weeks. And thank you for.